Hi. I'm very envious of your glass bottom boat. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Susanna. And I'm Chris. We're hitting the trail. And today we are uh, bringing you a little bit something different for uh, whatever Wednesday. So normally we do reviews and hacks and stuff, but um, we did something really, really unique a few weeks ago. And so we decided to jump ahead in our normal videos and throw this out as a whatever Wednesday because we did something really cool. And it's like the perfect season to do it. Yeah. So everybody should just do it. Everybody should just do it if you're in Florida. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. Okay, so that unique opportunity that we just talked about is with a company called Get Up and Go Kayaking. They are America's first clear kayak company, and as of now, they have 14 locations throughout Florida uh, and a lot of very, very cool areas. Like where we went. Like where we went. Yeah, so Silver Springs. Silver Springs. So Silver Springs is part of the Silver River in Florida, and it is one of the most beautiful waterways in all of America. It's also very, very historic. Did you know it used to be a theme park? It was even before Disney. Yeah, they had a, they had a jungle cruise before Disney even existed. Yep. Um, so this area is actually where they built the first glass bottom boats. They built, a, I think it was in 1878. You can still tour the, the Silver Springs on those boats, but we wanted something more personal. Yeah. And we wanted to get some exercise too. What's more personal than your very own clear bottom kayak? Yeah, it's- Or one that you share with your child. It's very easy to set up. You can go online and book it online. You set the number of people you want. Um, the boats can hold up to, I think it's 450 pounds. Mm -hmm. So you can do one person or two people. She went with Corbin. Uh, but you show up at Silver Springs. They meet you there. It's pretty easy to see them because, well, they have all the clear kayaks. They have all the clear kayaks. You pay the little <laughs> entrance fee to the park because it is a state park. It is a state park. It's $2 yeah. a person, I believe. Mm -hmm. And that's your, uh, that's your boat fee, your launch fee is what it is. Yep. Uh, and then you go down the water and they put you in uh, after going through a safety brief and... You know how to kayak, because not everybody knows. Yeah, this is built for any skill level, so yep. you don't have to worry. If you've never kayaked before, you're going to be just fine. Mm -hmm. The water's not crazy. We had Lauren as a tour guide and she was very good. Um, she did a phenomenal job of talking about the area. Uh, actually, I think one of the coolest things that she did was showed us the phone trick. Alrighty, so if any of you have your phone on you, a really good way to take pictures or video of what's underneath your boat is if you lay it down flat at the bottom, open up your camera, and it'll be the perfect one. So when you do book online, they'll send you an email with all the information you need and a link to a waiver, because of course you have to have a waiver. It gives uh, you a list of things to bring, what to wear. Um, what not to bring. What too. not to bring as well. The tours go out, I think it's three times a day, and they highly recommend the morning one just because of the weather. And uh, that's when all the animals are out. Yeah, and that's what usually. We did. And we didn't, ex okay, so we expected to see some animals, birds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Lauren did a really good job talking about the birds mm -hmm. and what's out there. And the bees. And the, no, just I didn't have that talk <laughs> with Lauren. Um, but we expected to see like some turtles. Uh -oh, Count so all the turtles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I spotted seventeen. We did not expect to see manatees. No. And we saw a lot of manatees. Yep, and we saw alligators. Because we the, weren't the, expecting that. The creepy alligator with the head poking out. Yeah, we weren't expecting alligators. You guys know how to estimate how long an alligator is? When you look from the tip of their nose to their eyes, Try to estimate how many inches that is, then convert that to feet. That's about how long he is. So. <laughs> and the one thing that we really, really were not expecting: rhesus monkeys. Now monkeys. we didn't see them. So I guess in the past, uh, during the Jungle Cruise, the guy that owned this area, he actually brought in a bunch of monkeys and thought they were going to stay on an island, but he got the wrong monkeys. And rhesus monkeys can swim, and they swam across. And now there's about 80 of them that live in the area. Again, we didn't see them. We didn't see them. They were hiding out because they knew that they would be on camera, so they wanted their little camera shy. <laughs> I did not know that. Strange facts about rhesus monkeys. <laughs> so the tour itself is about one and a half to two hours. I think we were close to closer to, to, two, to hours. two hours mm -hmm. because uh, they're very patient. They make sure that they're not rushing you and that everybody kind of gets the chance to see things. And again, it's it's also any skill level. So you had some people that have done a lot of kayaking and some that had done absolutely nothing. But she makes sure to take you around. Uh, the one thing I thought was really cool is with the manatees, she explained how to approach the manatees so that you don't stress them out. So being around manatees, 
you have to be mindful that they come up to get air every five or so minutes. So you don't want to hover directly over them so that they can breathe. Little baby manatee and a mama manatee. So on Silver Springs itself, this area has been popular since just after the Civil War and it has been used a lot for films, mm -hmm. TV shows, mm -hmm. and so there's a lot of history out there. Um, like we were Motion not, picture history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we were not expecting to see shipwrecks. Pirate ships, although the one that is not uh, motion picture history was the Seminole Canoe. And so there's a three, what we were told is a 300 year old, it's either a canoe or a kayak sunk down there. And then uh, the pirate ship, which I really thought that she was joking about. I thought it was He had no be... faith in her. <laughs> no, it's not a pirate ship. Until so you go over and you're like, oh, it's a pirate ship. I feel like you're totally setting us up for a joke. I swear, I swear to you. Like it's gonna be your ship? <laughs> no, like there's a little tiny boat down there, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm right over the top of it. There's a ship from a from a It's not like a real pirate ship, it's a movie prop. No, but it's big and it's hard to tell, it's hard to judge the distance because the water is so clear here. You can't tell how deep it is. Yeah. So the pirate ship is huge and it actually was like, what you say, like 30, 40 feet down. Uh huh. Which, it just kind of blows your mind. Um, and then there's an area back where they launched the, the clear bottom boats, the glass bottom boats, where they filmed Moonraker. Moonraker, yeah. Yep, James Bond. And when you go down, if you were um, looking in the water, you can see the three statues that they had in the movie. Yeah. It is, it is, <laughs> you see everybody's like trying to get around to search it. And when you're holding a camera underwater or underneath the boat, it's, it's hard to see because the way that the sun hits it in the angles. But Corbin got a really good angle. The kayaks, like we said, they can fit one to two people. They have little backrests and little footrests for you. So you can just adjust them to however you need them. There's room in the back for a waterproof bag to carry, you know, phones, cameras, whatever. And they whatever. provide the waterproof bag. They provide too, it, or that. you can bring your own, mm -hmm. but you don't have to worry about it because they provide it. Um, there's also life preservers um, and a little pad to sit on. Yep. And now, then you get your paddles as well. Mm -hmm. Or like, to paddle. You may be you thinking, paddle. yeah, you may be thinking, like, what's the big deal about a clear kayak? So, again, you're in this crystal clear water that you're not allowed to swim in, you can't scuba in, you can't snorkel in because it's protected by the Florida State. Uh, Park system. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a regular boat, you're trying to look out over the sides or you're doing paddleboard thing, this thing, you're just sitting there and you look down and everything is below you. A beautiful crystal clear waters, bluish green, real pretty. So you're also, there's 30 springs there, natural springs. And so as you go over these areas and you see the water coming up and it's like she said, a beautiful it's just turquoise clear. color. Yep. Yeah. So it's, it's a type of experience that you won't get in any other type of boat. I mean, yes, you could do the glass bottom boat, but you're in there with a group of people and you have to, they have to go to certain areas. With the kayaks, you just kind of go wherever the tour goes, but you can also, I mean, there was people going out doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. um, you can see the fish, you can see the seagrass, you can see You can the see turtles. the manatee that you, you might accidentally go over. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a very cool experience and you don't have to, you know, try to, tip the boat over to, to see something. Mm -hmm. It's right there. All right, so that was our experience with Get Up and Go Kayaking. So thank you to them for partnering with us and letting us come out and do the tour. If you're interested in going, uh, there'll be a link down below. And you can also go check out, we have a blog. It'll tell you a little bit more, a little bit more specific on, on what to do in the history of the area. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out. And give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And comment down below if you've done a clear bottom kayak tour. Yeah. And like I said, there's 14 of them throughout the uh, throughout Florida, so they're everywhere. We're, we're going to try to do more. So thank you for watching, and remember, life's an adventure. Hop on. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you, so hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.